I journaled for four weeks uh, what I've been doing with my time as an artist because I wanted to figure out how I was using my time and also I thought it would be useful uh, to share that with people. And so uh, in the last four weeks I've made 11 paintings. And you would think that that's a significant number of paintings and it probably is for most artists, but I'm really driven and I would love to be able to paint every day. But when I was journaling, I actually noticed in the last four weeks that I only spend three days a week actually full time from like nine in the morning to about five or six o'clock at night painting and or drawing. And in the last four weeks, I didn't make any drawings. So all I did was paint. So I thought that was really interesting and in that it would be kind of nice to discuss with you uh, some of the things that artists who are full-time artists have to do in order to make a living and what the responsibilities are of being a full-time artist, especially since I don't work with galleries. Uh, and so, uh, for example, uh, in the first week, <laughs> I thought it was really interesting. I spent a significant amount of time on one day, about an hour or two hours, because it, I had just been through a whole month cycle, of cleaning my studio and getting everything rearranged and put away. Otherwise, I couldn't work. And it was really amazing when I actually timed it. It took about an hour and a half to two hours for me to get the studio completely cleaned up. And I was surprised about that. And so that was on a Monday. And so I got to paint on that Monday and I made two small a la prima paintings. The following day, I knew that I needed to get ready for shipping. And um, usually I ship about once a month and shipping and, and mailing packages takes forever. It's a two or three day process. So I, I have to sort of warm up to it and do a whole bunch of uh, preliminary stuff to do it. So on the Tuesday, I wrote literally 15 letters using my computer. I did recycle some of the stuff from inside those letters to other letters. But what I do is I try to write a letter to each collector about what I feel the, are the strong points about the painting and what my goals were in terms of when I was making the painting. So, so I also packaged and organized my inventory. So that was from 8.30 or 9 o'clock in the morning to about 5 o'clock at night. I was writing letters and getting the paintings organized and things put together. Then on that Wednesday, I carried a large painting to UPS and because they packaged the big 36 by 48 paintings for me, charged me about a hundred bucks or 150 bucks to package a painting for a really big painting. And then I bring them a mailing label. It's a whole process. But I also packaged and labeled 15 paintings. Then after all of that, I, I just had the detritus and how messy my studio was because it's a really tiny studio on the, the next day on a Thursday. So that next Thursday, I cleaned my entire studio again. And I was able to make a painting. And as I do almost every day, which I sort of tuck it in, I spent most of the day also doing social media uh, and putting some things up on eBay for auctions to try to bring in some more collectors. But I did paint the majority of the day, probably about seven or eight hours that day. Uh, and then on Friday, I did the same thing where I painted the majority of the day and then I did some blogging. So most of my weeks, when I look at, at the kinds of things that I do, it's, it's pretty amazing how much of my time is spent on packaging and getting in touch with customers, mailing things off. And interestingly enough, I've also begun a process where I've started meeting with coaches and consultants to try to work on my sort of business practices and the business end of, of my art practice. And so in addition to trying to paint and do some marketing and, and shipping things and writing letters and staying in touch with all of my customers, I also ended up spending a significant amount of time, especially one week, I spent an entire day talking with three or four consultants and 
and coaching uh, and, and, a, and an online coach because I'm sort of interviewing them and getting what I can. Took tons of notes for each one of those people. And then uh, after I did that, one of the consultants uh, who was excellent, who I'm going to be working with, had me design a spreadsheet and put a whole bunch of uh, data from Etsy and from PayPal and from my, and from my website to determine what I was doing uh, in terms of what kinds of paintings I'm making, who they're selling to, who's collecting my art, who's looking at my stuff, and that's the next process. So I literally spent an entire day doing data collection and putting things in spreadsheets. So each one of the, in four weeks, what I noticed was a real pattern was at least two days every week, and we're talking about almost 15 hours uh, of time or, or, uh, or almost 18 hours at some points uh, doing businessy kinds of stuff and I got to spend about 24 to 26 hours a week painting and even on the weekends I was doing stuff and in the evenings I, I tend to watch videos that are art related, museum related, trying to learn about other painting techniques and on the weekends I often go to museums and research other artists and, and research even business stuff and marketing stuff. So I just wanted to share what my process was as a full-time artist and how that sort of, um, how that pans out to share that so that other artists will know what the process is of being a full-time artist.